This is Brother Teacher. What you're about to hear me say is not my opinion. It's not a personal view, as it were. It's not something I heard. It's not something I pulled out of the sky. It's the truth. I'm sorry, but the truth seems to not be very uh, popular these days. But it's the truth just the same. And it's about the country that we live in. America. Okay. Now I know that this is an open platform that everybody's going to watch it. From all walks of life. Uh, all persuasions and religions. Ethnic groups and political affiliations and so forth. Believers and non-believers in the creator. God that is. I know this. And I know that there are going to be some that are going to respond uh, with some vitriol. There are some that are going to possibly respond as a hater. Unfortunately, our world is full of such people. People who espouse and spew hate because someone else's viewpoint is different than theirs. But you know what? One thing I learned a long time ago is that the truth is the truth and it cannot be changed. It cannot be assuaged no matter how hard people try to. It's going to be the truth regardless. And people don't want to accept the truth because they want to live in another reality that they create for themselves. But you know what? The truth shall withstand the test of time. Ultimately, it shall win. With that said, I wanted to touch on America. First of all, if you don't already know, uh, America is, we can say, the country that we live in here in North America. The United States is a corporation, it's a business, and it has been since the beginning. It is a business. It is not a country. And we know it's located in Washington, D.C. That's where the United States actually is. And for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who don't believe what I just said, it's already clearly documented. All you have to do is do your due diligence and look it up. I'm not trying to teach you in this lesson right here, but it's already there. I'm not pulling this out of a hole, out of the sky. It's a fact that the United States of America is a business. It's a corporation just like Walmart and McDonald's. It is. It has a president, vice president, secretary, and so on and so forth. So now with that said, does the United States government care about you and I? Does it care about the so-called citizens, which are really employees of that particular corporation? Does it care about the people? I say no. It gives a semblance of caring. It gives the appearance, and always has given the appearance of caring, but it doesn't. It's about itself. It's about feeding itself, the machine. If you don't know this by now, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you so now here's the real crux of the matter for all of you that don't believe in a creator a divine providence a supreme being this is probably not for you because you're gonna hate anyway if you don't believe that there's a creator that there's a God I do personally I believe that there's a creator because once you close your eyes for the last time and you can't wake yourself back up you should be afraid there's something after this life, my friends. That's what I'm saying. Now, for all of you who do believe that there's a divine creator, that there's a God, whether you call him Allah, God, Jehovah, Emmanuel, whatever, Yahweh, if you believe that there's a God, then this message is more than likely for you. Now, let's slide this in here. If the president of our so-called country doesn't follow that God that you believe in, He's not my president. Ask yourself that question. Does the president, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris, the vice president, follow God? This is a deep question, isn't it? It's really simple. Do they follow God? And you can follow whether or not they believe in God and follow God by their actions. How are they benefiting the people in this country? in America. How are they benefiting you? 
Are they benefiting the people as a whole? Or are they benefiting the corporations to include the corporation that they serve called the United States? I'm sorry, this may have not been what you wanted to hear, but it's what I'm giving you right now. I don't have a president. He may be the president, but he's not mine. I don't accept him as my president because my president, if I had a president, would be following the creator as I do. It's really that simple. It's not complicated. So please weigh in, if you would, in the comment section below and let me know if you believe in the creator. Now, if you don't believe that there's a creator, as soon as I see your hate messages, if you want to be so kind to leave those, I'm just going to strike them. I'm just going to report it. I'm just going to erase it. You won't be there. Nobody's going to watch that. But for those of you who do believe in the fabric of what this country is supposed to be based on, and one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all, if you believe in that, as I do, those are the people that I'm trying to reach right now. But if our president is not following God, I'm going to continue to follow God the Creator. I'll continue to do that, whether He does or she does or not. That's it. That's all.